okay in this video we are going to talk about the sql server creating index option okay let's first actually understand what indexes in the sql server are and then we can go and create the indexes using the sql server management studio as well as a transact sql okay now remember there are two types of indexes in the sql server one is a clustered index and the other one is a non clustered index in a sql server you can have only one clustered index per table and as sql server online manual specifies that you can have up to 999 non clustered index on a table in sql server 2008 that's what the specifications are now whether you use it or not that's up to you okay a thousand index per table must be crazy to use something like that okay now remember one cluster index means why there is one cluster index because the table is sorted on that index remember that thing a cluster index means your table is sorted on that index means your table is arranged by that clustered index rule number 1 rule number 2 a clustered index means that your data will always whenever you query or whatever you do will always use the clustered index because that is mostly will be used with the primary key now there are 999 non clustered index which means the table is not sorted on those index but whenever you want if you specify the sql server will use that non -cl clustered index for querying depending upon the requirement now this is up to exactly up to sql server database engine whether to they whether it wants to use that index or not just because you have created a non clustered index doesn't mean that the sql server is going to use that non clustered index remember that thing so just creating the sql in a, a non clustered index in sql server doesn't mean that you are going to that the sql server is going to use that non clustered index remember that thing now you can use up to 16 columns as a composite key in the index when you ever you specify more than one column in the index it is known as a composite key it can go up to 16 columns in the one key okay now let's go to the okay now all the columns in the composite index key must be on the same table or the view what does it mean that you cannot have a index on some other table apart from the table you are creating it or the view you are creating it obviously this is common sense okay creating an index on some other table doesn't make sense only in the first place the maximum allowable size of the combined index value is 900 bytes what it means that though you can have 16 column as a composite key okay but the bytes that you can use up to maximum is 900 bytes it cannot be more than 900 bytes columns that are large objects like log data types and text text var char max and var char max var binary xml all these large objects you know they are cannot be used in specified in the key column of the index that's very very well known from the very beginning if anybody has used the sql server it doesn't make sense only in the first place and again also a view definition cannot include the n text or image column even if they are not referenced in the create index statement now this is very interesting if you are actually using sql to create a view now those sql also should not contain these large objects like n text text and image column or else you cannot create a index on that view now this is very interesting compared to what the table was now for index view non clustered index can be created only on the view that has a unique clustered index already defined what does it mean that if you are creating a view a 
indexed view then if you have not defined a clustered index on the view you cannot create any other index okay you need to have a clustered index before you define a non clustered index every view can have one single clustered index remember that thing it doesn't mean that you cannot have a clustered index on view and any numbers of you you create can have one clustered index and many non clustered index okay create index can use more processor to perform the scan and operation association associated with the creating the index in the same way as other query does that is self explanatory explanatory need not actually go into the processor details and other things a clustered or non clustered index can be either be specified as unique or non unique that is when you are creating an index you can specify whether or remember when you create a primary key as a constraint the primary key index is automatically added to the table remember that thing now let's go and look into the table how to create a index that is actually using a primary key cluster index okay now let's see what happens let's go to the database okay there we are i have a this database already known as samples it has few tables we may clear it or later on but right now i'm going to show you i'm going to create a table giving a transact sql and i'm going to show you there is no primary key added in this table as you can see there is no primary key okay we could have created this thing with the sql server management studio also not a problem but for the sake of the time we will create it using the transact sql okay now whether you call it sql or sql or structured query language again it doesn't make any difference so far you understand what you are doing okay now let's execute this t sql and there we are okay the table has been created as you can see i had gone and refreshed the tables after the command has been executed now as you can see the table is created Okay, it has created a table here. Okay, I have refreshed it, and the uh, table is already existing has jobs. It has created because I did not specify any any schema name, so it has given a schema name for itself, which is a DBO. DBO stands for the database owner. Okay, now let's go and see what the table is. Okay, so let's go and check at the table. Right click on the table name. and select from the table select design okay when you select the design from the table you will get this screen as you can see i have specified three fields job id job title job description now i want to actually specify the primary key constraint for this table which automatically creates a primary key index okay now how do i do it now let's go and do a simple thing right click on the job id and say set a primary key to this option okay and the primary key has been set as you can see the primary key now has job id next to the before the job id there is a key that shows that a primary key has been set now the thing is if i close the table okay and i come back, come out the i have defined a primary key as you can see now you can see in this table if i go to the index 
below the table jobs and see there is a PK job that has been defined as clustered index. Though I did not specify anything as a clustered, I just selected a column for the primary key and it is defined as a clustered index. Right? Now, suppose if I wanted to actually create this using a transact SQL. Okay, I could al always do this thing by using a alter table jobs add constraint pk primary key cluster job id. Okay, now suppose if I want to delete a index key from here, okay, indexes from here, okay, just go and click and select delete, right click and select delete. When you right click and select delete it shows you this option I am going to select OK and the index is gone. And we are back here. Again if I go and you can see that the index doesn't have any plus option means it doesn't have anything into it. Ok now I will use this transact SQL to create the same index. Ok. Though I have specified clustered here even if I did not specify clustered it will on the primary key it will st still create a clustered index only remember that thing alter table jobs add constraint pk that's, that is the name I have given when you create it directly from it without a giving a name it will create a random name remember that thing that would be very actually difficult for you to alter it later ok this is the primary key and I am going to execute this transact SQL and again we are going to have the primary key index as simple as that Again when I refresh the index, again I can see a plus sign here and I am expanding it. Again see now this time it has a specified BK job primary key, B ok job id clustered, ok this is the same name it actually appears here, ok. Now automatically it has cleared a, created a clustered index. Now suppose if I wanted to check it with, with the transact SQL, the index is on the ta table jobs. I could say SPL index jobs go and it will execute this transact SQL and it will show me the index's name. There we are. As simple as that thing. Now you have learned how to create a clustered index. Now that you have created a clustered index, I will show you how to create a non clustered index. Okay. Now suppose if I wanted to create a non clustered index, again I have to go to the table and again I have to go to the design go to table jobs right click select design as you can see there is a job title id we are on which I am going to create a non clustered index so close this table now and go to the index right click on the index and select a new index from the option Yeah, once you have selected a new index from the drop down menu you will see it shows the actually non clustered name into it and other things I can write it whatever I want to now write into this name ok so I can say jobs ok title ok non clustered index ok and if I wanted to create a unique, I can say unique, okay. And the options are there ignore duplicate value, ignore column. I'm going to click OK, and we have got this index added to the table. As you can see here, that index has been added. The same thing we can do it with the using a create unique non clustered index unique job title on the jobs and it also does the same thing ok now that I have explained you how to create a clustered and non clustered index I will just end it here ok